Hi guys, it's Breezy up in Sitka again. So we're gonna try and make a card and a border today. And since I'm trying to do two before I have to go back in for overtime, I am going to um, show you what I've done so far. I've started on the card just because there's no point in you guys watching me cut straight lines. Um, so, this was from, <clears throat> excuse me, the Creative Memories blog as well. And um, sorry, you have to excuse my arm here. It is called, it's party time card, but I'm doing it with um, the National Scrapbooking Day collection, Garden Friends and Endless Meadows. Um, the Garden Friends, I believe, was the actual NSD collection, or at least it went with that collection. It was just additional papers that had the bugs, like the ladybugs and the bumblebees and um, whatnot on there. So I'm going to make it with this collection instead of the Showtime collection. And um, I like to be frugal, so I went ahead and just cut out my frames. So what we are doing is we have a blank card and then it said to cut one paper or cardstock at five and a quarter by four inches. And that's what this one was. And then I just cut out the middle so that I could use the paper for something else as well. And, um, and it's gonna have just a little bit of a frame, a white frame around it. So I'm going to take these down. I'm sorry, you guys are gonna to have to watch me tape, but um, it'll save a little bit of time by me pre-cutting already. And it doesn't matter if you get a little bit on the inside edge because, well, it's gonna be covered up anyway. Okay. So I'm just gonna try and get this on here with just a little bit. And sorry for the noise, Jethro is up here in the studio with me and he likes to be loud, don't you? I gave him some boxes from some punches to chew up and now he's bored and just making all kinds of noises just because he can. And now he's gonna whine. So again, sorry. Okay, so there's our first piece. And then the second piece was to be cut at five inches at, by three and three quarter inches. And so, yeah, we're gonna go this way. And again, all these ideas that I am showing you guys are on the Creative Memories blog, but sometimes it's just, easier to follow along when you've got a video. I know that, so, and it gets me completing my 100 day challenge. And I do have the 4th of July festival coming up. It's the old time 4th of July here in Sitka and I will be participating in that and I will be selling some cards. I'm gonna be doing some make and takes and um, those sorts of things as well. So you guys can check me out, anybody that's local. Let's see. Okay, that's not quite where it needs to be. I gotta lift it up here. I gotta go a little bit lower. And a little bit more to the right.
So the frames are a little bit harder to work with than the solid piece of paper, but like I said, I, I like to be frugal. So I tend to make the frames whenever I can, especially if I like the paper um, for personal projects and whatnot. So that looks pretty good there. And then just gonna make sure I put it on the right side because I've already used this yellow. I'm using the ladybugs on the back side here. This one should be easier to put down than the other two were. The ladybugs are going in all directions, so I don't think it really matters. So now there's your base card. You can do this with any card. Um, you could make up a bunch of these in different colors and just have them. And then when you need a sympathy card or a birthday card or a happy Easter, since this is spring, you could have it up like this and finished to where all you've got to do is put your saying on there or whatever. Um, I think what I'm going to actually do though is, I don't know if I'm going to do that one or this one. I think I like this one. And I'm going to print off something and it's actually going to go like this. Um, I'm just not exactly sure what I want it to say yet. But because these all go together for the collection, I'm going to go ahead and put this on there. And then, like I said, I'm going to print something off on cardstock and slap it on there when I'm ready to send it out. And that's going to be what I do. And sorry, I'm looking for my foam squares because I still haven't cleaned my desk. I keep saying that every day. Probably should do that. I just don't know what I did with them. Let me get another pack right quick. And so then I would just put these and like basically the four corners. And then whenever I get my saying, I would just tape the saying down with the um, Creative Memories tape and it'll be set. So again, it could say, you know, happy spring, happy Easter, you know, sorry for your loss, have, uh, congratulations on the new baby, happy birthday, it could be, any sort of thing like that. And if you do up some of these like this, you're all set and you've always got, you know, the card for a perfect occasion. You just print off exactly what you want it to say. Um, Creative Memories does have some stickers. Well, actually, I think they're out of stock. Um, they do have stickers and embellishments. They're, um, must have titles that you could use as well. Like um, we also have the embellishments. A cute one to put on there would be like this hello sticker, which I'm not gonna put it on this one. I have an idea for it for something else. Um, I wouldn't have used as much green for the hello. Um, but you get the idea. You can do hello on it. This one, if I hadn't put this on there, I was thinking about the birdhouse and put a hang in there um, on it. So that's what I'm going to do for one for sure. Um, but, you know, we got all of our embellishments, the stickers, the um, must have titles, any of that stuff can work. And again, if you don't see what works for your particular occasion, you can always just print something off on cardstock, whatever color, be it white, you know, a colored one. It, it's totally up to you. Um, all of our collections have cardstock and stickers and embellishments and paper to all coordinate together. So there's our card. Again, it, it's not completely finished because I don't know exactly what I want it to say yet, but you get the idea. And I mean, this is an easy card to make up at any time. 
to um, gift someone with. And I mean, if you guys have looked at cards lately, the last time I looked at cards, they're like seven, eight bucks for a simple card. Um, and these, you can get a an entire box of blank cards for I believe $7 right now. Um, they did just go up this year. So, and I believe it's seven. Yep. Um, but you can make your own. So now we're going to make, it's called the star border, but that's not exactly what we're doing. We're going to use the same collection. And let's see. We're going to do, I like this blue. We're going to do this blue, actually. Yeah, we're going to do this blue with the double fan border maker cartridge, which I think is just adorable. It'll cut off like this. And there's so many things you could do with these. We have this ready. It says punch two borders. And sorry, I meant to have some of these punched as well, but I forgot that sidetracked. So there's one. Okay. sweater got in it. Okay. My sweater got in it again. This is what I get for wearing a sweater that's a little too large. All right. So there's the second one. And then we're going to go with another color and punch two more. So I'm gonna go with that yellow, even though I've said numerous times that I don't like yellow, I don't, but I think it'll look good with this. Forward. I still haven't gotten my cold water therapy in yet. I gotta do that later. I think it's going to have to be after my overtime. I was hoping to do it beforehand, but I don't think I'm going to quite get there. Sorry if the table is moving. Okay, so there's one. Be number two. Okay, so there's number two. Make sure it's empty. All right. And then it says it here. The borders so that it is offset from the others. So we're going to use the yellow ones behind the blue. And that's going to be something like just enough to offset it. 
like that. We're gonna need the green paper. Let's see. We're gonna cut a piece of the, let's see. No, I'm gonna cut the back of the blue because I want the flowers. This isn't that beautiful paper. Where did I put my trimmer? Oh, here it is. So we're gonna cut a piece of this paper to measure a 12 by one. Let's see, piece of emerald green feather. Okay. This is gonna go in between. So it's a one inch by 12 inch. Okay, there's one inch. Okay. Put this over here. And then we're gonna cut a piece of this green to measure two and a quarter by 12. So let's see. That is a seven, so six, five, and I said two and a quarter, so four and three quarters. Okay. Then we're gonna come back to the yellow. And we're going to cut a two and a half inch piece with the um, yellow here. But we're going to do that with the wavy blade. So I need to get the correct blade out here. And in case you didn't know, the Creative Memories trimmer lets you store your extra blades underneath as well as another um, matte strip for cutting. I thought I had a matte in there, matte strip in there. I guess not, it must be over in my stash. So again, we're going to cut this at two and a half. So this is, almost four and three quarters. So there's three and three quarters, two and three quarters. We're gonna go just a little bit wider cause it wasn't quite the right. And I've still gotta go back and trim the other side to make a match. Okay, so there's that one. And then we're just gonna Put this one in just like this, just enough to trim off the straight piece here. So all we're doing. Okay. And with these decorative blades, you can't go back and forth on them because if you do, they're gonna cut weird. because it won't line up exactly. So there's that. Okay, so we're just going to adhere. Did I cut that wrong? Apparently I cut that wrong. No surprise there. Okay, so. Oh, that's because I only made this two inches. And it was supposed to be two and a half. Okay. 
I'll just use it for something else. No biggie. So now we've got the correct one. I set the smaller one over here. So I'm going to adhere the fans down once I get this all the way I want it. Okay. Then let's see, adhere the previous pieces to the top. Okay, so apparently this is gonna go like this. This is gonna go like this. Probably should have switched up the green for the blue, but it's okay. It's still cute. So, yep, this is what we're going to do. Okay, so i going to put this piece down centered here. So I'm going to use my mat. Line this up on the other one. So there's one, there's two and a half. So let's see. There's one inch and there's one inch. So we're going to, that's going to be the center. One, two, three, one, two. Wait a minute. So there's the half to the half. And then that's one. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Should basically be pretty centered right there. Okay. Hopefully that's correct. If not, it's gonna be now. <laughs> okay, then we're gonna take the repositionable tape and we're just gonna run it right along here. Why is that buckled? Probably should get my multi purpose tool out so that. When I'm lifting things, I'm not bending it. Okay. Okay, that's not strict.
and neither is that. That's still not straight. Okay. And then I'm just going to put this on here so that it'll help adhere. Sorry, I know y'all hear Jethro clinking around over here. But almost there. Sorry, this is a little not too time consuming, but a little. So there's that one. And then we got to get the other one on here. Oh, I didn't center them very well. So my separations are going to be a little larger than the example. It's okay. It still works. I must not have centered something. I must not have centered the, the white piece. I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. So again, it's not going to be exactly um, perfect, but it's okay. I don't think I do anything perfect, so it's all good. Okay, I think that's too cute. And then the last touch for now will be the um, embellishments. Yeah. I should dump these out upside down. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna 
use on this border. I don't know if I'm going to use a um, embellishment or a sticker or what, because I don't know, excuse me, exactly what I'm going to use it for. It might be in Grandma's album too for her flowers, since most of the flowers are springtime. It'll go perfectly. But we're just gonna use these little um, pieces that came in the Endless Meadows um, embellishment kit. I'm gonna use, let's see how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I need twelve. Ugh. There's going to be big ones and little ones. Hmm. So I guess that means I am going to do, let me get my multi-purpose tool here. If I can figure out what I did with it. It's around here somewhere. So guess what? We're going to use the tweezers again, I guess. Okay. So we're going to take these. I'm going to start with the green ones. And I'm going to put these two green ones on the outside here. There we go. So there's one. There's two. There's two. Make sure that seeing this. Okay, I'm going to move it over just a tad. One, two, okay, and then we're just going to go with the smaller ones. I'm going to do them in the same order. I would have normally done it from the other side in, but I don't want the two orange ones right beside of each other. Okay. This would be cute for shells on a um, beach layout as well. 
Maybe tomorrow we'll do something with that. You guys tell me what you think in the comments, please. And um, tell me if you like the borders, if you like the card or what you wanna see more of. As soon as I get a full day off, I had one off Saturday, but I was exhausted from all of the overtime that I didn't get to do as much as I had wanted and my daughter popped in, which is unusual now that she's not living at home. So when she actually wants to come home and chat, I usually spend a little bit of time with her. And so I did spend a, several hours with her on Saturday. Uh, her car's messed up. So uh, when the husband's not working, he's gonna try to see if he can fix it again until the real fix it part comes in. But anyway, so we've got the um, border here. And now again, you could leave it like this or you could um, put one of the embellishments on it. You know, depending on what you're gonna be doing, I think it's cute just like it is. And I might leave it just like this. Um, and then we also have the card. Where did I put the card? Here. So, and it, remember it can be turned this way or this way, okay? But you guys tell me what you think. And if you wanna see more like this, or if you wanna see something different, or if you wanna see another animal, we can do more animals. Um, totally up to you guys. I just need a heads up on what you wanna do. And uh, thanks for joining me again. Remember, this is Breezy up in Sikas, Alaska. So if anybody's up here in Alaska, feel free to reach out to me. I do do retreats and things. I do some virtual ones as well. I'm gonna be working on um, the 101 idea booklet that came uh, out last year, as well as some class for some classes. Oh, excuse me, it's 110, not 101. So this right here, scrapbooking ideas and sketchbook. So if anybody's interested in following along with that, let me know. I'm gonna um, not do it in order. I'm just gonna pick a, a layout that'll probably work with the photos that I have at the time and mark them as I do them and we'll go from there. But if you guys are interested in that, let me know. And um, yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.